What is the first platform that comes to your mind when you think of job hunting? Let me tell you guys, there are many people I know who don't even go to any other job portals. They just go to LinkedIn and find their dream jobs, be it a freelance or full-time opportunities. In this video, I am going to show you 5 hacks that you can use to land your dream jobs through LinkedIn. I am going to discuss some bonus points towards the end. This video is going to be equally important for freshers and experienced people as well. Let me show you how to go about it. So guys, we are going to see majorly these things because LinkedIn is all about connections. So we are going to see how to filter the right people to connect. Okay. Then we are going to see how to filter right pages and groups that will be relevant in your job search because there are God knows how many pages, but not everything is relevant to you. Okay. How to send request most important part of this video, how to send a request so that it will get accepted. And then we will see how to filter useful events and in the end, very, very important how to get noticed because it will be a two way approach. It's not always one way approach, right? So you keep reaching to people. That's one, one part of the story. The other part of the story is people should note, note you notice you, right? So how to get noticed on LinkedIn, all these things we will cover one by one. First of all, let's go ahead and try to see how to filter the right people. Okay. So suppose I'm into job search mode. I want to do the job hunting, right? So I will go to LinkedIn and I will simply go and search here. For example, I will click this and I will say data scientist job in India. Okay. And here you can see that there are many job openings coming. So what I will do is um, some of the jobs may I may be interested in some of the jobs based on my experience level based on my uh, interest you can say or based on what suits me. I can simply filter one of the jobs for example senior data scientist this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is here you will see two, three very, very useful information. One is meet the hiring team. Okay. This person is from the hiring team. So this is one useful contact for you for this particular job, but not only this. So what we will do is we will again expand our people filter. So just go here and just go to the company page. Okay. In this company page, what we are going to do is we are going to go to people. Okay. In this people, what we are going to do is it will show you all the employees that are there in the LinkedIn, but we don't want everybody. We want only data science people. So I will write here data scientist. Okay. And then what it will do is it will show me people working as data scientist in that particular organization. So now, as you can see, in that particular company, you will find some some people who have in some way or other data science in their title or some posts or something mostly. So all these guys that you see that are being filtered now, right? These guys are useful guys for you. Okay. So in this one way, what you can do is, for example, one person I can take from here. This person work, works in your target company. So we filtered the target company. We filtered the HR of that particular hiring and we filtered some more contacts from that particular company. Okay. So now what you will do is you will reach out to these people one by one. Remember, I'm asking to reaching out. This is very similar to sending a cold email. So in cold email, the response rate typically is below 5%, which means if you send 200 people, you will get response from five people. Okay. So if you are desperately looking for job, you will repeat this exercise at least one hour daily. You will keep sending connection request to many people. How to send request? I will come to that now, but you will keep sending requests to many people based on First, what are the different steps? You will filter the company, you will filter the hiring team, and then you will filter more people working in that particular company. This is one, one way in which you can filter the right people. What is the other way? Simply go to LinkedIn and say hiring data science. Okay. Now, if you search on hiring data science, and if you just click on posts, right on just posts. So you will find many posts here where there is hiring and data science, two things coming together. So what we have to do, we have to just reach out to right people. So if you see here, if I searched on hiring and data science, then I also got some 
HRs, you know, hiring DS roles, recruiter at DS group, some, some things, these people also, you can just go on people and you can filter on your location and on your, uh, for example, if I'm in India, I'm looking for India, I will go ahead and filter these people based on location and I will reach out to these people. So hiring data science, keep an eye on post and people both, okay? So for example, this person is in hiring and data science. See, hiring is there, data science is there. So both post and people based on hiring data science keyword. So this is how you can filter which people are useful to you, okay? Coming to part two of the story, how to find the right groups and how to find the right pages. So there are two objectives that, that can be fulfilled here, whether you want to increase your knowledge or you just want to get a job. If you want to increase your knowledge, then you will simply say, you know, data science or AI or artificial intelligence. But if you want, you know, if you are just interested in hiring process or if you are just interested in job search, so you will come here and you will click on groups and you will see here data science hiring in India, there are 4K members. Talent community, data science, advanced analytics, AI, ML, 3K members. And then SAS and R and Python jobs, 2K members. So all these groups, right? All these groups are useful group to you. The reason for that is people might be discussing different job openings, job postings. As you can see, it's free to join these groups. Nothing which I'm discussing in this video will cost you money. Okay. All these things are free. You can simply join these groups and make most of it. Okay. So we are searching the relevant keywords and then we are targeting people and we are targeting groups and communities. This is one part of the story. Now comes the very, very important part. How do you send a connection request to someone? So remember, see, what is the bad way of sending a connection request? First, let me show you. For example, I want to send a connection request to PS Narayan Murthy, okay? So simply more and I will go and say connect or in some profiles you will see here a connect button. So simply going there and pressing on connect, that is not going to help you, okay? Don't do that. Always add a note with your connection. So for example, if I go here, I will say connect and you can either click send or click add a note. Don't click send, click add a note, okay? If you click on add a note, then you have to prepare your message uh, in a way that that person gets interested in your profile because many people will be sending connection requests to people, right? So suppose I'm sending to Mr. P.S. Narayana and, uh, you know, courtesy to P.S. Narayana, I'm using his profile for this demo. So just I will say, hello, P.S. I will just write the name, What is whatever the name is, okay? Uh, let me write it here. And then you have to understand that your see there is a three three hundred words limit okay so you cannot write a long story here you just have to write the relevant things so that that person understands you are worth keeping you in in keeping you in their network right so what you have to do is you have to simply introduce yourself and then appreciate that person for some kind of work that they are doing okay so I will simply say introduce and then appreciate. Okay, introduce, appreciate, and then connect. Connect means you are sending a connection request. So how, how will I introduce myself? So I will say, um, um, this is Aman, a data scientist. Okay, a data scientist with 10 years of experience. So I introduced myself. Then I want to appreciate this person Narayana for some of the work that they are doing, okay? So who doesn't like appreciation, right? So maybe if you send some good words about their work, they will like it. So how do you get this information? You will get this information. Let me copy this from going to this person's recent activity. So you come here, you see this person's recent activity. You go to show all activity, okay? It will show you the posts, comments, images, articles. So let me click on the articles. So for example, here, how to hire for niche plus demand talent using LinkedIn. So this is one of the article that has been written by Mr. Narayana Murthy. So what we can say is, we can say that, uh, you know, genuinely go ahead and read the article. Obviously everybody, you know, 
uh, shares their knowledge through these articles. So you can obviously get some knowledge like what recruiters are looking for in the niche area such as data science, etc. from this article. And what you can say to Mr. Narayana Murthy is, hey, thank you so much for writing that article. I got to know that, you know, how a fresher can get a job in data science by reading your article. And I would love to connect with you. So, okay. So going back to the profile and going back to connection, I'm doing this again because I want you to be aware of don't directly click on send, click on add a note. Then I will go here and I will say, uh, I really liked article on, on, on hiring for niche skills that helped me to gain insights on how to prepare myself for competitive job market or for job. So what you have done, you have introduced, you have appreciated. And now what you have to do, you have to go here and say, I would love to stay connected with you. Don't ask for a favor in the first go only. I would appreciate your acceptance of, of my connection request. Okay. So what you are doing, you are, you are giving three things here. You are very clearly saying who you are. You are very clearly saying how you relate with them or how you like their work. And then you are saying, I want to just get connected with you. Don't ask for favor in the first go. What you are doing is you are creating a repo in this way. Once you create a repo with a person, then uh, slowly you start showing your capabilities. Slowly you start showing your uh, what work you are doing, what are the areas you are interested in, all these things. And then you can, you know, very genuinely ask if there are any opportunities they can help you with. Now, in first case, when we were we were searching for hiring and we got the HR contact, we can directly reach out to HR saying our profile and we are interested in this position. Okay. If you are reaching to somebody else from that particular company, you can simply say, this is my profile. Could you please help me with the referral or let me know if there are opportunities open. So this way, what we have done till now, we have done three things. We have filtered whom to connect. We have filtered what post communities to follow. And we have got a trick of how to get response or how to get our requests accepted. Okay. Now I want to discuss about one more things known as events. Okay, so for example, here you go and again search for data science or hiring data science, anything that you like. And I will just go here and click on events. Most of these events are free. Okay, you don't need to pay anything apart from some, some of them may be intended to sell you some course or something. Apart from that, uh, mostly you don't need to pay anything. Most of these are online if you see and free to attend online. So why I want you to attend these, you know, based on your convenience, based on what seems interesting to you is, you will start building a community. And that is very, very important. Many people will come in that event. Maybe you get a chance to speak. So just go ahead and uh, attend these events as well. These events are important, whichever you are interested in, nothing like, this you should attend, this you should attend, this you should not attend. Anything is fine, okay? Wh whatever you like, but events will help you in networking with people. This is the fourth way in which you can get benefited from LinkedIn and land your dream job. Now I'm going to explain you the, the other side of the story. So uh, it's all right that you are filtering people, you are approaching people, you are sending connection requests, all these things are fine. So for example, if I go to my note you are filtering right people uh, you are doing this regularly you are filtering right pages and groups and you are you know being a part of that you are sending connection requests daily for one hour you sit and you send requests to right people then you ask if they have some opportunities some things for you all these things you are doing you are attending the events everything is fine but how to get noticed is pretty important the other side of the story right so there are few important things in, in the world of LinkedIn guys that you must uh, understand, then only people will notice you. Understand that this is more or less a social media platforms and social media platforms is all about engagements. So you must be knowing till now that, you know, engagements are most important driving factor for if you want to grow in any social media or if you want to get noticed. Engagement means what you will do. 
so any job any groups you are part of any community you are part of you will you will comment relevant things don't just send some spam or something keep interacting with people keep commenting with people okay another thing that is important in the world of linkedin is endorsements endorsements and and skills update so in your profile there is a section for adding skills updating skills and then you can get endorsed from the people for those skills right so those things you you must pay attention because anybody who lands to your profile will be looking at your skills and how many people have endorsed you for those skills okay that these two things are pretty important third is don't have a uh, casual profile don't have a uh, you know very casual profile casual profile means what your profile pic is you know in in sunglasses you are sitting on a beach not not that kind of photos don't put those kind of photos in the linkedin put very very formal profile formal photos formal definition of what you are doing what is your profile about your skill sets about your past work all these things should look like if somebody lands on your profile right if somebody lands on your profile then they should understand that you know it is a good good profile that i am adding in my network okay they should feel the worth in your profile so when your action plus your action that you are doing in first four points plus auto action i will say auto action means you are not doing anything it is happening automatically when these two things combine together right then you will see the magic of linkedin it's not only for one day two day one year two year thing guys i always keep saying think in longer terms create good connections that will help you in very very long terms okay whether it's a full time opportunities or freelance opportunities or you want to do something of your own you want to do a startup you want to build a business anything you want to do linkedin connections will help you achieve that okay so this was all about this video guys i i tried to cover how you can make most of the linkedin by doing something which will help you in your job hunting journey please give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys and please send me the linkedin request with the format i told you i want to see how you write those things okay i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care